Ali Gire, the man who allegedly took a video of the China Southern Airlines plane landing at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport with 239 passengers from China on Wednesday, says he will take the Kenya Airport's authority to court for having suspended him. Gire, an assistant security agent at JKIA, says he has been receiving threats from his boss and other security agencies linking him to terrorism. Kazo Gunga with the details. The 239 passengers that landed on the 26th of February 2020 at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport early this week from the China Southern Airlines, a flight from China, raised eyebrows. Ali Gire, an assistant security agent, was among officials at the Juliet Bay who found the arrival suspect. He says they had not received any revocation communication with regards to the previous suspension of the China Southern Airlines flights. A Chinese airline landed at around 7 a.m. in the morning. This airline, after being marshaled by the airport marshals, checked and taxed and stayed stationary and there was no activity for more than one hour. There were no passengers alighting. More shocking was that the first people who moved nearer to this aircraft were Chinese, five Chinese press people. They were recording the video of the Chinese aircraft. They stayed recording the video, communicating on the video. As a trained security person, he had no obligation other than to be more interested of what was going on. This video that circulated widely on social media illustrating the lack of readiness of the country to fight the deadly COVID-19 that has become a global threat. It was allegedly taken by Gire and now is a headache for a whistleblower who was concerned about the security protocol at the capital's main port of entry. I'm worried for my life uh, based on the threat that uh, the head of corporate security for Kenya is uh, threatening me. He went to Kahawa Wendani police station, reported this matter. He was given an OB. He wanted to be kept in the police cells for fear of his life. Ali Giri has worked for the national carrier as a trained security agent since the 16th of January 2019, but on Thursday he received a suspension later saying, and I quote, following a report of video recording of the China Southern Airline aircraft at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and in circulation of the video clip widely on social media and your alleged involvement, it has been decided that you be suspended from duty with effect from 27th February 2020 to pave way for investigations into this matter. End of court. We are filing our matters in court on Monday. One, to seek protection, state protection for his life because as you can see he has taken quite some time to come and address this media. He is traumatized especially when he knows that his action to save 48 million Kenyans has been construed to be an action against the state in form of a criminal offense called terrorism. Two, he was served with a letter of suspension, a letter that does not exist in law. The principles of suspension are very clear. When somebody is suspended, he is put on half pay. But that letter, as you see, it says that he's on full pay, but he's suspended. The battle about who is right and who is wrong between Gire and KQ is headed for court. Kazugunga, Citizen TV, Nairobi.